Good morning, Eagles, and welcome to Season 14, Episode 64 of Eagle News. Today is Wednesday, January 6, 2021. Happy National Bean Day. My name is Cammie. And my name is Madeline. Today we're celebrating National Bean Day. To celebrate today, you can try some different types of beans or make a cool recipe with them. A fun fact about today's holiday is that the largest bean plant reaches 46 feet and 3 inches. It is even recorded in the Genius Book of World Records. A new Eagle News podcast was posted on Friday by Mr. Meta. Check it out on Google Podcasts or an Apple Podcast on your iPhone. With that said, head to the main activity on Schoology to answer this, answer this week's poll question. The question is, what is your favorite DC superhero comic? Check it out on Schoology. Chipotle is having a fundraiser tonight from 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. 33% of the funds go to Hyatt Athletics. Remember to keep respecting all the COVID precautions. Keep your mask up and don't forget a social distance. We know it's hard, but hopefully it will be over soon. Now let's head over to Asha in the Eagle News weather station for our third report of 2021. Thanks, Cammie. Today in Powell, it's going to be cloudy with a high of 36 degrees and a low of 28 degrees. Brr, it's going to be pretty chilly, so make sure to wear your big warm coat. Don't forget to go to the Chipotle on Sawmill to get a burrito and 33% of the proceeds will go to Hyatt's Athletics. Now let's go back to the newsroom with Kenny and Madeline for today's first video segment. Amazing weather report, Asha. For our first video segment, we go see what everyone's favorite movie theater snack is. Roll it. Hey, Eagles! Today we're going to be asking students at Hyatt's what their favorite snack is to get the movie theater. Let's go. My favorite movie theater snack is the buttery, buttery popcorn. When I go to the movies, I like a hot dog or pretzel bites with cheese. M&M's. Good and Flemmies. Extra buttery popcorn, duh. My favorite movie theater snack is sour patch kids. My favorite snack at the movie theater is Junior Mints. My favorite movie theater snack is Skittles. Icy's. Peanut M&M's. I thought the favorite snack was a hamburger. It's just because I've been answering all kinds of different questions. Like I said popcorn, then I said candy, then I said hot dogs, then I said, now I'm saying a hamburger. Oh. Thanks for watching, Eagles. I'm Kira. I'm Sarah, reporting for Eagle News. Now back to the newsroom. Bye. Bye. Thanks for that great video. I love going to the movies. What's your favorite movie snack? Probably popcorn. What's yours? Probably the blue raspberry ices. Now let's stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I can't wait for lunch. I'm starving. Me too. Let's go see, to the lunch report to see what Miss Carr is serving today. <laughs> Happy Wednesday, everybody. Today's meal is mac and cheese. We have a pulled pork sandwich. And our pizza is Big Daddy's. What are you having for lunch today, Madeline? Probably a burrito. Speaking of burritos, you should go get one at the Chipotle fundraiser tonight. That was an amazing lunch report, Mrs. Carr. It's now time for trivia. Let's go to the trivia studio with Amelia and Asha for today's question. Thanks, Madeline. Welcome to Trivia here at Eagle News. Classes, keep up the good work and make sure to text Mr. Meta only one answer today to earn your points. If you get the number one answer, you will earn 15 bonus points. Today's question is, name a specific piece of furniture that might be handmade. Again, name a specific piece of furniture that might be handmade. Teachers, make sure to only send one answer to get your points for your advisory. Now let's head back to the newsroom to take a look at what's happening in the sports world. Last night, the girls and boys basketball team played Dublin Souths. There will be more information on that game soon. There aren't many sports going on tonight besides some NBA games that aren't going to be on TV. I can't wait to watch Ohio State and Alabama play for the national championship on Monday. And the Browns and Steelers again during the playoffs on Sunday. For our live segment today, we are headed to visit Miss Thompson. Let's see what's going on. Take it away. Hey Eagles, today we're in Miss Thompson's room for our live remote shot and we're going to talk about what she did over break. So, Miss Thompson, did you travel anywhere? 
I did not, not travel over That's break. good. <laughs> did you do, like, any, during Christmas time, did you have any, like, fun memories that you guys made or anything like that? Yeah, so we did get to spend Christmas with my dad um, and my younger brother and his family. We spent a couple of days there. Um, and then obviously spent quality time with the girls uh, the two weeks that we were home. That's good. Um, do you guys, did you have a good break? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, they tra some traveled, some got puppies, some oh my played gosh. sports. So it sounds like they had a good break, much more exciting than my break was. Yes. Okay. I had a good break too, Eagles. Let us know how your break was. Bye. Such a fun live shot. Thank you for participating in our live shot today, Miss Thompson. For our final video segment, today we will talk about the improvement in Eagle News from the beginning of its run 12 years ago to today. Today we're going to be talking about the progression of Eagle News throughout the years. 13 years ago, in 2007, Eagle News started. The oldest videos that are on YouTube are from five years ago, but the even older videos are on school too. As you can see, the quality is not as good as our videos now. Let's check out a video of Bumblebee Bay. This bee costume was used in most of their videos and was a big hit. My name is Bay, BumblebeeBay.weebly.com. I am 13 years old. Well, I have two older sisters. One's a freshman in college and one is a junior over at Liberty. Well, my mom has 13 brothers and sisters, and my dad has eight other siblings, so I have like 85 cousins, first cousins may I add. Bumblebee Bay, drive me nuts, Bumblebee Bay. But everybody loved it. During the first couple months of Eagle News, they used a microphone to talk through the loudspeaker for announcements. Shortly after, they moved to what is now Mrs. Pulliam's office. And today, we use room 113, which is the room right next to Mr. Meta's classroom. That's the microphone that we did Eagle News on for the first two, three months of, the, of, of our show. Uh, when we opened the building, we didn't really have a studio or, or cameras. We had to figure all that out. I had to figure out what I was doing because I was a third grade teacher moving to middle school. So we, it took us about a half a year, really, to get a, an actual broadcast going. So about 13 and a half years, Eagle News has been How good. does the pandemic affect Eagle News? To be honest with you, the pandemic, I think, is really affecting Eagle News. Not, not that the quality is down. The quality is actually up. But for, for the kids that have been in my class now for 12 weeks or going on 10 weeks, they've only really had five weeks of instruction. Everything's just slower. The ideas aren't as good. I think these masks limit your ideas. They, you're afraid to talk through them. I know that's kind of a joke, but I will say that the group I have now, the 20 kids that did, did Eagle News all year, and people like you guys that are wanting to do it, that like doing this work, it's really, really impressive. So the quality of student is still Thanks there. Thanks for watching, Eagles. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye. Bye. Why do you enjoy Eagle News so much? Because of Addy Hoops. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's so fun and it's improving every day. Thanks for that great video. Now let's head over to Amelia to hear what this day in history is. Thanks, Madeline. Today's day in history takes place during 1987. On this day, astronomers report the sighting of a new galaxy being born 12 billion light years away. The galaxy contained 1 billion stars. Make sure to go to Chipotle tonight from 4 to 8. That's it for today's day in history. Now let's head back to Cami Madeline to finish today's news. Thanks, Amelia. That's really cool. Okay, we love learning about our improvement in Eagle News, today's this day in history, and seeing the fun live shot. To wrap today's news up, we want to share with you our quote of the day by C.S. Lewis. You are never too old to set another goal or to dream a new dream. My name is Cami. My name is Madeline. My name is Asha. And my name is Amelia. So <laughs> <laughs> don't forget to watch tomorrow's news on the YouTube channel, Hyatt Eagle News. And don't forget to get your burritos at Chipotle tonight from 4 to 8 p.m. 33% of the proceeds go to Hyatt's Athletics. Have a wonderful Wednesday, Eagles. Bye! Bye. Go to Chipotle!